Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Arsenal 4. No step back as the White Russians. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, 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 so. We commandeer civilian trains. 5% stability. We'd lose some. See, we need 29. Probably for those other units. Everything else seems to be working okay. That's how your military production for right now. You're encircled. You'll be dead in a moment. Yeah, you guys are holding on just fine. If we can hold out long enough, we should start seeing the events where it's like, hey, people have defected to your side. And I I'll be happy to see that. Don't know where the hell you're going. And I don't like that I don't know where you're going. Because you shouldn't. There's no way you have supplies right now. Which I'm really happy about. Thing on the rail networks. Eleven fuel, mostly for the air force. We're also spending a lot on the army. Understandable. Where could I theoretically put an army? Because this up here, I mean, it's still a little bit of something we have to worry about. It's not so so bad, but we can't just pretend that it's nothing either. You know what I mean? It's important. Yeah, we want actually to just take Baku. Yeah, and staying like places like Sevastopol, it's got a lot of supplies. We're happy to see it. Yeah, rush to Moscow. You might not have any supplies, but Godspeed, I believe in you. Right now, we just got to get you down to 63%. I think it's even a little bit better than where it was before. I, mean, I guess what I could do is I could just bring some of these units. Like, you just go to this front. Um, again, yeah, you just capture these cities in the south, take Stalingrad, take, uh, Bukhara, Novi, all these territories should belong to us. And then the rest of you, it's going to take you a billion goddamn years to get here, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, sabotage behind enemy lines. You are four military factories. Quite nice. Ban the Imperial Fleet. You wouldn't be bad. Four free units. For any time, but we get more organization. Absolutely. Say yes to this. Germany and Italy, thank you for your... Ooh, nine volunteers in total. Are you really not joining this war? I don't even know if you can get out of here. Why do be stuck to this fate forever? They did take the uh, port. Or not the port, the railroad. Luckily, we do still have a second railroad, but this is a little annoying. And exactly the thing that I was said I was going to try to avoid. Apparently, I didn't get the memo to myself. Again, let's secure railroad positions. Even on very aggressive, these guys don't actually want to be moving out too much. God, we're almost out of oil. Okay, follow you up with excavation level 2. Then, trade, oil. United States. How many factories do I have? I have... Be nine factories. I don't know how many factories I need. We're, get, we're spending 1.7. Fuel capacity, daily consumption. I have no convoys. You know what? Un uh, reasonable, reasonable. The reasonable issue. If I capture the Baku oil field, though, oh, then everything changes, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to still try to take Leningrad, see if we can get that going. Okay, they, they sent two units to defend Moscow. That's very reasonable. It's a very reasonable thing that they've done there. Not happy with it, though, for obvious reasons. Go capture you. It's like, why, why make my life harder? And you're the real depot. Okay, so we've taken this railroad back. I love to see it. I want you to connect to this line. And try to escape if you can. Again, capture, yeah, the cities down in the Caucasus. Not worth a lot of victory points, but every victory point does matter in the end. Yeah, and as you can see, like, the Soviets just don't have supplies. We've taken, like, all their good railroad depots. So, like, what are they going to do about it? It's basically nothing at all. And I'm so, I love to see it. 
Outrate of Visions, I want you moving over here as well. Take what you can. Those Soviets are down here. I mean, we've got like... But that's basically it. And there's those volunteers. They're in Vladivostok. I have a feeling the AI is just going to come and just take this territory, which, you know, is like fine, but not really what I paid you for. Bulgaria has joined the Germans. Not a faction, because they don't have a faction yet. I'm assuming they probably will at some point. Yeah, so Moscow is defended. Yeah, I don't think anybody should be surprised by that. You take this land, just take whatever's around here. Yeah, you go. Oh no, don't take all of my territory in the middle of nowhere. What am I going to do without that? I need my Garbaggio land. Okay, again, railroad networks. We just, we just captured one. Move your way to Penza. I don't need the trains, right? Yes, I do. Give me the trains. Sabotage dockyard, sabotage construction. Blow up their shit. And keep capturing land. Capture you. Move your way to Kazan. Capture Kazan. Why are you not being as aggressive as I want you to? Why are you red? I don't know. I feel like you shouldn't be red. I do see Soviet troops approaching from the north. Like, they, they really shoot. I guess they're mostly just living off the land, huh? So, like, whatever. what else could they possibly be doing? Move you down here. Capture this land. Once you've taken that, you can move your way to these cities. You come here. You have nowhere else to go, so you might as well try to join with this army. Oh, apparently we actually connect up there. Excellent. I'm happy to see it. Okay, thank you for the equipment. How actually is equipment looking for us? 14,000 rifles. We're really just missing fuel. The trade. Don't trade with the United States. It's not doing anything for us. We need a trade with somebody who borders us. Trading with Iran does not require factories. And that should barely cover our fuel reserves as far as I can tell. Yeah, now you have no supplies, but that's not a big shock to anybody. I don't know where you're going. Join this army, please and thank you. You'll be there eventually. I don't know how long eventually is, but eventually you'll get there. Enemy desertions. I'm, I'm, I mean, it's fine, but it's kind of like also not what I'm here for. What I'm here for is, what are you doing? What I'm looking for is, what the hell, I just, just go to this army, make your way over here at some point. And this, this brave man at Sevastopol, he's trying his best. Going blue army, you're already basically there. I think that's... I was going to say that's everybody. No, you two join with Pink Army up in the north. Actually, no. I'm going to start a new army. Do I have any more commanders? No, I don't. But you know what? I don't need them. I'm, gonna bring, I'm just going to put you right here. And you're going to close off this small gap. Just in case any Soviets just attempt to be a little bit too... Um, a little aggressive. Okay, thank you for this. More enemy desertions. I mean, it's nice, but I've already kind of assigned so many of my units that I gotta kind of have to look for them. Okay, you go to this new army. You're already on that army here. It's gonna be, it's gonna end up like what happens again with the Bakaran playthrough, where I'm just gonna get so many free units and I'm just not even gonna use them. Because I don't know where to even put them. Okay, unrest in the Soviet Union. Gets, you're still at 62%. I haven't gotten any of the events that have reduced your bonuses there. Take land. Let's go to Penza. City of the world's desire. What are you guys doing? 
I mean, you'll do okay. So we got the cohesion. Give me the organization. Could get even more organization. I wouldn't be upset about that. I mean, I'd be actually quite happy with it. You know what? Yeah, rehabilitate the military. And you guys might as well try to attack. I don't know if you'll really be able to take any provinces, but... Kind of not what my purpose here is. Okay, congratulations. Join this army. Hey, you're still capturing cities in the interior. I'm happy to see it. Love you. You never got to Leningrad. And I haven't captured really any major Russian city. You do gone them down a pretty decent amount, but it's only because their surrender limit is actually very, very low. Okay, more desertions. Yeah, I mean, Blue's making great progress. We're almost towards Stalingrad. Okay, drive the Moscow, go! Now's the time for the Moscow push. Eh, don't even... I don't think we need to spend points disrupting anything anymore. The render limit decreases. We need to get down to 60... 72%! Or deser... We have too many desertions. We're literally going to have too many units soon. Army stockpile... Again, I don't really care what army you join. Just, just figure out an army you want to be in. You actually survived this festival attack. I'm, I love you so much. I don't think we're ever going to be able to get a unit down there, but... Still happy with it nonetheless. There's actually a unit down there. Okay, so you've now been captured. I believe that should be... It's a supply evil, but of course it's not connected to anything right now. It only connects over to Stalingrad. So you know what? Yeah, let's walk up to Stalingrad. Take that while you can. Again, I want you guys here. We've gotten a defection. Welcome. Happy to see you and my army. Oh, it's good they did need an extra general. I'll assign you to this army for right now. Uh, what do I want? We need some theorists. We also have some military commanders. Airborne specialists. Maybe just awful. <laughs> Not what I'm looking for at all. Railroad gun bombing. Cavalry attack. What? She free infantry design changes. Army command gain. Yeah, take initiative. That seems okay. And I've almost closed this gap up. Again, not that it's really going to make a major difference, I believe. Yeah, both of you march to Moscow. Now or never. I mean, we still have Sevastopol. I think Sevastopol is worth a decent chunk of the uh, points I have right now. Sit here for a second, get some organization going. Okay, no national is taking over Poland, basically what I had expected to happen. Anybody else go fascist? I mean, not really. So I have no idea what's going to be uh, the political makeup of the country after, or of Europe, I should say, after this war. Oh my god, now you, you're just doing a great job. This defensive Vestapol with your life. Or desertion. Stalingrad's about to fall into her hands. You'd love to see it. If I take Moscow, which I think I will right now. Will I take it? If I take the city, that I was going to say, if I can take the city, that should be the end of this. Defend. You're a part of this army. If you take Moscow, that's that's victory for us. Maybe, maybe a couple of these other smaller cities are actually going to be worth something as well. But we're close. We are very, very close. I'm going to have you march away toward Baku because it's worth... Actually, no. 
Like, yeah, it's worth 10, but these are also worth about 10, and they're way closer. Can I attack and defend at the same time? Yes, I can. And as long as you can survive these battles with Soviet troops, the war is won. Or one more event that lowers their stability. Whatever one comes first. Go to Baku. Come on, come on. I know, I know my men have this. We didn't take Moscow, we didn't take Leningrad, and yet the revisional Russian government stands firm. The greatest army the world has ever seen. The war is now over. Victory for ours. We have won. Where do I put my units? Okay, that's a great question. Assign you to the bottom river. We're going to assign you to the top river. Three units. We're going to assign you to the finish, not fit, not the entire finish border, just to here. Four units we're going to put on the Estonian border. Seven units are going to put down here on Turkey's border. And we should have extra units. Yeah, they didn't really do anything. You're going to go here. You two can join this army. I think we got a bunch of free units actually, and I'm okay with that. Bring you here. Got three more assigned to this army. They got way more assigned to you. Did we just get the entirety of the Soviet army? Did I not assign you to a front line? I guess not. You can go on the Romanian border. And we'll keep a small Asian front as well. I'm not going to add a general because we'll probably get one through an event, I would have to imagine. Um, because we got we got a lot of event spawn generals last time. You can join the Russian front. I mean, it's all technically the Russian front, but you know what I mean. It, it, the Manchurian front. Sign you here. Okay, eventually, we're going to stop getting... Eventually, we're going to stop getting uh, ass assignments. There we go. What do we have? We need trucks. We need light tanks. Okay. Already loud and clear. We have, like, no factories. Cut you down. Can you not actually do one right now? Because I think we have... Yeah, we have 20,000 rifles. Actually, no. These aren't, these aren't destroyed factories. These are factories that need repairing. Right. Give me more trucks. Trucks are cool. And do we need this railway? Yeah, probably. We'll, we'll finish the rail uh, railways for now. Follow you with 1938 support weapons. And bring everybody to our new front line. Once you're done, we will consolidate all of the power. Oh, okay. Political power for communists goes down by negative 0.2. I mean, right now, it should already basically be at zero. Do we have Moscow? Nah, let, let us make it St. Petersburg. The new capital of Russia. I don't know who in the right mind would... Who put in Vladivostok? Like, what are you thinking? Like, no sense. Let's not get you right now. How do us... How does everybody else in the world feel about us? Japan, plus 25 to like us. Probably because of our... Yeah, because you supported the Exiles. But I believe Germany and Japan will also have those same modifiers. So since we are now the same government type as Germany. Because we are non-aligned. I mean, there's like, yeah, there's like a couple of communist countries left, but with the death of the Soviet Union, it, it's basically a dead ideology for the moment. You're going to invade Yugoslavia, understandable. And aside from that, you're all looking pretty good. Volvograd. Let's go Volvograd, because we're, we're not going... Uh, pure monarchist. We are going with, um, the church candidate. We consolidate our power. Yeah, we, can, we really can't do anything with you until 
everything in the country is slowly rebuilt. Because we destroyed a lot of the country. Unsurprisingly. But at least right now, the original government declared it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. Thank everybody for watching. If you enjoyed, give a thumbs up. If you enjoyed, give a thumbs down. If you want to subscribe and goodbye.